The Holden sculpture coveted by Westerners everywhere is the Wrangler Award. Thank you so much for this award and God bless. Given the honorees at the annual Western Heritage Awards at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. We'll show you around that fabulous place when today's Wild West continues. The English have Shakespeare, the French have Moliere, and the Russians have Dostoevsky. What do we own? What do we have? The Western. Robert Duvall. George Strait. Get here, my dad is beaming right now. Tom Selleck, Kevin Costner, Barbara Stanwyck, and John Wayne. Just a few of the stars that have been honored. You've heard it said, and so often it's true. Behind a great man, there's a good woman, too. At the Western Heritage Awards at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. Held every April, the gala Saturday Night Awards Dinner and Ceremony caps a weekend honoring the best in Western film, TV, literature, and music. Hosted by an Oklahoma City Museum, it is a treasure chest of the American West. The best part of coming here is I see something new every day. First thing everybody sees when they step inside the museum is end of the trail. People have got many opinions about it. The monumental and thought-provoking sculpture by James Earl Fraser what it means and what it meant then and what it means today. Museum curator Eric Singleton is a fascinating tour guide of this place. The West and museums are more than just paintings and sculptures and objects, they're stories. Western art is an important part of that story. Everyone has their own points of view. The museum is home to the works of such legends as Charles M. Russell, Frederick Remington, and Albert Bierstadt. And that was how people saw the West, and so they were critical to defining and putting the West in the American public's imagination. Today's top Western artists are showcased here every year at the museum's prestigious pre de west Invitational Art Exhibition and Sale. I think if you look at the numbers and the quality of artists and the amount of artists that participate, I don't think any other museum in the country can compare to this art show. Tucker Smith's masterpiece, Return of Summer, is among those who have won the show's top honor, the pre de west Purchase Award, becoming part of the museum's permanent collection. But you have to accept diversity, and that's why Western heritage is so important. And so began the story of our next inductee to the Hall of Great Westerners. A son of enslaved people, he became one of the West's first black cowboys. And tonight we honor civic leader and cowboy, Matthew Bones Hooks. And just a couple of weeks ago, my husband and I stopped off at the grave of Matthew Bone Hooks and his wife, Ann, just to say, well, well done, done, cowboy. cowboy. Well, well done. done. And these Western Heritage Awards that we just had were so important because it's meant to celebrate the diversity. And once you get diversity in the door, then people see the commonality that they all share. Many have had their perceptions of the American West shaped through the Western movie or TV show. This has now become history. All those films, all those Western films. And the gallery is devoted to the cowboys of the silver screen, featuring many of their costumes, six shooters, and saddles. There are so many icons of the American West because it was such a defining period for American culture. Tombstone star Kurt Russell and his late father Bing, perhaps best known for his work on TV's Bonanza, joined the legends inducted into the museum's Hall of Great Western Performers during the 2022 Western Heritage Awards. This is really a pleasure. Uh, there's an energy in this room that uh, you really don't feel anywhere else. An evening emceed by Native American actor Moses Brings Plenty. Wow, it's an honor to be back here with you all tonight. The National Cowboy Museum includes a gallery devoted to Indians and the beautiful headdresses, artifacts, and stories of Native American culture. The Indian Wars of the 1800s are the focus of the Joe Grandee Gallery of the Frontier West. Which were such a defining period of this country. Calling the soldiers, scouts, and the equipment they used on the front lines of the frontier. And it actually goes all the way back to the Vaqueros. When the smoke cleared, the dust rose from the cattle drives of the open range, the rich legacy of the American cowboy. So part of this gallery really touches on the evolution of what we know today as the cowboy. The trail many cowboys ride today is the rodeo circuit. Another aspect of the West you can actually step into here 
in the museum's recreated rodeo arena. You have a lot of visitors who are not from the West, and so this gives them a chance to step into an environment that so many Westerners take for granted and know so well. You can even visit the Old West at Prosperity Junction, a recreated frontier town. You can walk into an old time saloon, pull up a chair, order up a drink. Hey, barkeep! This museum can be a bit overwhelming in a good way. There's just so much to see. You know, it's, you have to balance it between time and what you want to see. Because if you give me a week, I'll give you a good tour. If you give me an hour, I'll give you the, give you the highlights. But there's one highlight I'll never forget. The award for Outstanding Western Lifestyle Program goes to Mark Bedore. Setting foot on the same stage as all those Western legends, as today's Wild West was honored at the museum's Western Heritage Awards. Thank you very much. Quite a thrill. And to receive this award from the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum is the greatest honor that this cowboy could ever receive. I thank you, I thank God, and thank God for the National Cowboy Museum and all it stands for. That's it for now. We're back next time with more cool stuff from today's Wild West. I'm Mark Bedore. We'll see you down the trail. For more information on the people and places featured in today's Wild West, or to order show DVDs and books, visit todayswildwest.com. Funding for today's Wild West provided by the Leggett Foundation.